Hello folks, something a little different today. It actually looks like it's gonna be a lovely clear night tonight. Makes a change. And I haven't had chance to uh, look at M42 yet, um, the great Orion Nebula. And uh, I thought, well, you know, I'll try and get a few shots of it tonight with my mobile phone and uh, maybe uh, video the process as I'm doing it and uh, you can see exactly what I'm doing. Bear in mind, this is a really, really simple way of just doing um, some basic astrophotography. By the way, if you want to know what my uh, northern hemisphere looks like, I need a very tall tripod. So, hopefully the weather's going to stay like this and um, we'll have a bit of fun. Now it's a good idea to uh, set your telescope up in the daytime and as you can see and uh, I've got it uh, on these trees which are about I don't know 300 yards away those ones just there okay so just get something in, in your field of view make sure everything's nice and uh, clear and you can get good focus. Oh, by the way, that's the light pollution I have to put up with on a nightly basis. So I hang this manky old sheet up uh, to uh, protect me from it a little bit. It works. Okay, that's a little better. No background noise. Um, I'm going to overdub this section because it'll, you'll just be able to hear me a lot better. Um, now, what I'm going to do here is just show you and go run, roughly run through the phone settings I'm using. Now, if you can see on the screen, you can just see some white dots. Now, there are actually a few stars that are in the constellation of Orion, and they really do help to know that you've actually got, uh, you're in the right field, if you get what I mean. Um, by seeing actually something on the screen. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm altering the shutter settings on my phone. And I'm going to take it to around about two and a half seconds. Now, you don't want it much longer than this because you're going to get really bad star trails. Now, remember, the photograph that we're going to achieve from this is not going to be wall hanging masterpiece. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm setting the manual focus and making sure that the stars I can see on my screen are in a nice, sharp uh, uh, focus. Um one thing I didn't do here is set my timer on the shutter to a, like a three second delay. This allows so you don't get any vibration. This is the ISO I'm setting. Now my phone only goes up to 3200 um, and I suggest you that's about the uh, exposure you want. About 3200 and uh, we'll play around with that as the night goes on. So it's time to take a sample shot. Hit the button and you do get that little flash of something coming up okay now what you want to do now is just play around with the exposure a little bit remember we're on a two second exposure maybe knock it down to one maybe three and uh, what we're trying to achieve is not to get so many star trails you are going to get a little bit of trailing because um, I'm not using the motor at this stage and there you go, there's something on the screen. I will put a still up at the end of the video to show you. And like I say, this is just a bit of fun um, that you can take a few photographs and uh, show your friends or whatever. Um, it's always nice to do. Um, like I say, it's just a simple way of, of doing astrophotography with your mobile phone. And here we go. This is the uh, final shot I got that night. As you can see, it's like I say, it's no wall hanging masterpiece, um, but it's uh, still pretty impressive to say that you can do deep sky um, photography with your mobile phone. This is done with the uh, two second uh, time exposure. And as you can see, there is a tiny bit of trailing coming in, um, but we can live with that.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little quick guide on astrophotography with a mobile phone. Don't forget, as always, take good care of yourselves, people, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.